Hello and welcome, this is Chris Wren. I'm going to be showing you a few VR headsets I've been working on this week. Namely, uh, the first one we're going to look at here is the Google Cardboard. I printed out the templates online and put it together. I got the lenses from unofficialcardboard.com and it works pretty well. I like these magnetic buttons, they're really cool and they actually work pretty well. Alright, next up, I ordered a Dodo Case, which is a company, Dodo Case VR, do-it-yourself VR, and it's kind of the same thing, except it's pre-cut, I didn't have to cut anything, it's got essentially the same lenses. What we have attached to it, this is a discovery board from SP Micro, and it emulates uh, the same kind of setup as a, as a DK1 from Oculus Rift, and so it kind of fools gear vr apps into thinking that this is in fact a gear vr headset and so what that allows is for apps to run and this to use uh, as an accelerometer tracker and you can see on the screen behind the accelerometer works just fine all right also in this app i happen to have i don't know if you can see on the screen but you can actually have the leap motion hooked up and so I'm building Gear VR apps using Leap Motion um, and this custom do-it-yourself Gear VR headset. All right, and it works just fine. As you see, I can like actually reach out, I can touch buttons, I can actually manipulate objects. Um, this is, however, using uh, V1 tracking from Leap Motion, which is a little outdated. Um, but they are working on an updated. Uh, SDK for the for the new skeletal v2 so as soon as that gets in I think this will be a lot more robust but nonetheless it's working and it works great so the next demo I'm going to show you is we're actually going to do this I'm going to unplug it from my laptop I'm going to plug it in to my phone and you see my phone is now powering my phone will now power the discovery board and it's also powering the leap motion. The leap motion will turn on once I approve the daemon on there and you should see the red lights on this light up in just a minute. And they're there. Not flickering. Nothing looks so good. Um, so we're going to load up in this case is an app I've been working on. This is my lunar app and as you can see we've got so the round is working just fine. And again, this is, it's got wires, but all the wires are connected to the phone. So there's no power supply other than the phone and all the wires are connected between the phone and the headset. And so you can slip this in. And actually have your full VR headset going on inside there. I don't know if you can see inside. But the tracking is working, leap motion works. I don't know if you can see the leap motion through this, but leap motion tracking works as well. You can touch buttons and, and interact with things as well. But again, it's using the Skeletal V1 uh, SDK from leap motion. So I'm waiting for that to update. That'll make this a lot more robust and I can get the full functionality of my Lunar demo going. Um, that's it. So hope you enjoyed it. Bye.